In this video, you will learn how to create a vacancy using an applicant tracking system or ATS that is integrated with the new NHS jobs service. When your ATS is integrated, you will first need to create the job listing in your ATS, which will then transfer to NHS jobs as a draft listing. Access your NHS jobs employer account and select draft from the dashboard. You will see your vacancy with the NHS jobs and ATS reference numbers. Select complete the listing. Depending on which third party ATS you are using, you will need to follow different procedures around things like making changes to the listing or uploading documents. And you should speak to your ATS provider to find out the correct procedures for you. For example, you may find that your ATS does not transfer documents to NHS jobs. Let's take a look at how to upload them to the new service if that's the case. First, select yes and then choose file. Select the document you want to upload, select upload and then either repeat these steps to add more documents or select save and continue to confirm that you're done. Once all the sections are complete, users with the roles of super user, recruitment administrator or team manager will be able to publish the job. Applicants will search for the listing in the current NHS job service, will be redirected to the advert in the new service, and if they decide to apply for the job, will be directed to your ATS, where they'll complete and submit their application. Once the job listing closes in your ATS, it will close in NHS jobs too and all the remaining recruitment processes are completed in your ATS.